Hey guys, Lindsay here. Not at Carter Vintage today. Right now we are on the road in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the Artisan Guitar Showcase. We're gonna go inside and try out all the guitars, interview the luthiers, and promote the Carter Self from Workshop side of things. Got the little postcards here. So let's go inside. Eric, so great to see you. You too, Lynch. How are you? We're here with Eric from Skytop Guitars, who Teenag's worked with for a long time. Um, yeah, years and years. We've had lots of your guitars in the shop, and you've got three here today. Do you want to tell us a little bit about them? No, <laughs> uh, surely. We um, have a Acrylicum Ebony um, with Val de Femme Spruce, uh, which is Italian spruce, really stiff top. Um, we have a nylon crossover, which is Brazilian and Tunnel 14 Redwood. And we have a um, maple with um, Swiss spruce. And that's labeled wrong on that. I was like, that's not Val de Femme Spruce, that's Swiss spruce. Swiss spruce and maple. Yeah, and that's the one that you were working on for us for from I think we started last year, right? Correct. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and it sounds great. Fresh off the fresh off the bench. Yeah. <laughs> like really <fresh> yeah. <laughs> well, just to ask a couple quick questions. Um, what do you look for in a guitar when you're building? What are you kind of aiming for? Um, that's an excellent question. Um, I would say it depends on whom I'm building for. Yeah. Um, if I'm building for someone, then I'm aiming for a lot of things, like what they want in a guitar. And everything from you know the nut width to the string spacing to things like that to what they play, what kind of music they um, concentrate on. You know, if they're strumming, I'm going to brace it differently than if they're finger style. You know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but overall, I'm looking for um, like really crunchy mids and you know a nice deep bass and trebles that come through. You know what we all like search for, right? Um, but it's uh, it's definitely. Um, you're always chasing the dragon. Yeah. 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 So for you build for some really interesting guitarists like Yasmin Williams. So with building guitars like hers, do you do anything like vastly differently from like just a more standard model, or is it like just a couple of little tweaks here and there? Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With like with Yasmin, it's uh, there's a lot of insanity. Um, like her last guitar that I built was a baritone, so it was a seven string, multi scale baritone and the scale was 27.5 to 26 so it was like a huge jump in the thing and you know the neck was longer than she is um, had a cutaway an armrest bevel um, all of the appointments were uh, poured resin um, and then the the seventh string on it had a banjo drop tuner so she could drop it from B to A you know so yeah so there's madness in in a lot of that yeah. um, <laughs> And she's very particular. And her hands are little, little, little itty bitty hands. So um, like normally on a guitar like that, you'd have you know, basically a, a classic with neck on it, you know, two inches. And she was like a normal one and three quarters. So I had to fit seven strings into one and three quarter. Yeah, so it's, you know, when you're working for someone who is as specific as she is, like the world changes a lot. Like I had somebody come in the VIP yesterday and they were asking about a, a lefty and I'm just like smoke was coming off of my head because I was just like how would I even build a lefty you know I mean every like, like I'm on autopilot most of the time you know so like to go left-handed I wouldn't even know where to begin it must not just be a matter of reversing right you have to basically like recalculate in a lot of ways yeah <laughs> right. yeah <laughs> right off the bat like like everything's on the wrong side you know so like when if you build a lefty normal normal guitar, you just sort of you reverse the X a little bit and change the nut, and you're kind of okay. But if you did like a multi-scale lefty with side sound ports, then the whole world changes in a not good way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure it turned out awesome, though. You probably figured it out. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. TBD. Um, awesome. Well, just a couple quick random questions. Uh, what Favorite back and side woods, favorite top wood? I'm really liking this Valdefem spruce right now, which is um, the spruce from where Stradivarius got his tone woods. Um, nice stiff Italian. Also, there's some stuff right now that uh, Butch Boswell just put out at Boswell Guitars, which is um, called Lost Tunnel Redwood, which was hands down the stiffest redwood I've ever seen in my life and has a tap tone that's just insane. I mean, it go online to... Um, Tom Sands' YouTube page and he does a thing with it and you're like, it's almost unbelievable. 
Um, so I'm really loving that. I'm all over the place with back at sides. I love Crelicum Ebony. I like working with Brazilian. But, you know, like this is, you know, it's curly maple. And this is insane, right? It's just, it's just a stunning piece of wood. And it's hard to work with, but it, you know, I like it. So I'm not, you know, I'm not beholden to the wood monster. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, random question. Uh, what's, your, what's your workshop listening? Are you a silence, podcast, music guy? I am a silence. Yeah, because I have enough trouble concentrating. <laughs> want to learn more about your guitars what's your website uh skytopguitars.com um and instagram at skytopguitars <laughs>